we know throughout Europe we're seeing the Islamic onslaught of refugees, migrants, whatever term you want to use them, use. I call them invaders myself. You know, Hizra, the jihad by invasion, and where in Germany and some of these and other countries, uh, you know, rapes are up, crime is up. Uh, you've got these no-go zones that are appearing, you know, starting to look like Paris. But he, uh, the real interesting part about this is in the United States, and, and uh, you uh, have a story on this, we're seeing measles outbreaks. Now, understand, there's a lot of diseases you just don't see in the United States anymore. And yet we we have illegal aliens and and these unvetted Muslims coming into the country, and disease is a primary concern here. Matter of fact, a couple years ago, when the uh, immigration fight in Murrieta was going on and the buses were turned around, one of my things that I talked about on Fox News and, and some of the other networks I was on was my concern about disease because my granddaughter had gotten hand, foot, and mouth disease, and that was something that just wasn't common in our area. And, and the doctors tell me that there was a sudden spike. So, um, so, so Jan, uh, let us know what, what's the story about measles in the United States? And ground zero was a mosque, was it? A mosque in Memphis, and that's what they are alluding to. But the part that bothers me is, you know, this big uh, debate going on right now about should you vaccinate your child or not and the autism connection and whatever. And the government is more and more mandating vaccinations. And yet here we have the federal government telling us they are sending us at least 10,000 refugees coming from goodness knows where in the Middle East, and they haven't been vaccinated. And now here we have in a mosque in Memphis, and they may very well have been refugees that came in through this program because the program goes directly to charitable organizations. The states have nothing to say about it. Chris Christie recently said he had no knowledge of the refugees that were put throughout New Jersey went directly through these organizations. So I think citizens need to be very concerned. 